go ahead and get started with today's lab notes. And this is a two room start with two side rooms. So I'm gonna hope that the two rooms have something important and that's the secret passage. I'll get that in a moment. I will get that I'll get I'll get that secret passage backwards. Is there anything over here? There is a dark shrine. Awesome. Alright. How's everyone doing tonight? How do we keep Shaper alive on my jug? You can't control the ads. Um For if I'm fighting Red Elder on my Juggernaut oh god. Don't die. If I fight Red Elder on my Juggernaut, during the portal phases I switch my accessory call back in. And that helps with AoE and helps I won't be able to kill the portals, but I will be able to kill the ads during like during Red Elder. Okay, so secret passage leads over here. Yeah, leads to the side room. Let me go ahead and mark this. Did I not actually grab the dark shrine? I just noticed that. I saw the dark shrine, but apparently I didn't actually go grab it. Sounds like the weakest build ever. Well, that's because the build doesn't die. <laughs> I killed Uber Elder on that character Deathless a bunch of times. It, it's not the fastest kill, but it's really hard to get killed. Where's the secret pass? Uh, where there it is. There you go. Unique item. Meh. Uh, yeah, Arctic Armor is pretty nice for its reservation cost. Alright, what is over here? Is there anything over here? Okay, that's empty. This is most likely empty as well. There's nothing over here. Yeah, this just leads up and over. Uh, is that a trap gauntlet? That's a trap gauntlet. I see that curious lockbox on the top corner. There you go. Right, there's a trap gauntlet. So there is a side room. Not there, to the left. His life seemed good, but it was soul crushing. Was it really? Oh, was, were the room were the rooms bad? Because it was a it was a in terms of the total amount of rooms you had to do, it was only seven rooms, and that's like pretty good. Considering six of the, six is the shortest. Up, oh, that's a side room dark train. That's unfortunate. Got two lab prophecies. Gonna have to do th do this one. Unfortunately, you're you're already in a bad situation with that dark shrine placement right there. Also, bear with me one moment. I think. Yeah, give me one second. I think my. I have flux to dim my. I have flux to dim my monitor. 
But I need to adjust it because it's really dark right now. Okay. Idols. Idols is fine. That's dual swords. Alright, gotta run around. Okay. So we got that is section one done. Section two. Is there something over here? This is Argus. Hey, buddy. There's something else to the top right over here. Normally, that's this way. I would have something else up over here. It is empty. Okay. Oh, there's a key in the top left. Never mind. There's a key towards the top left. Unfortunately, this is a four room section. It's this section you can get mad at for being a gold door because gold. Four, four room sections are only ever gold doors, so that's valid to get mad at this one. Which puzzle? Is that a curious lockbox? No, that is a lap drop. Can I do this one off the top of my head anyway? Um. Is it this? No, it is not. Uh, I can just bring up the puzzle solver. That didn't work. Oh, there you go. Oh, that was not worth it. Sometimes those are worth it. <laughs> Sometimes those can actually give you quality gems and all that stuff. Where's your evasion? I assume uh, that's where you're getting all that insane boost speak from. Yeah. Well, Mo Queen of the Forest has a cap now of 100%. Or 75%. Yeah, 75%. But that being said, it's mostly coming from gear and flasks. You can see I just cap it. I go all the way to 56,000. I do also get a good amount of movement speed out of a adrenaline quicksilver with flask effectiveness and all that stuff. Escort gauntlet. Is this gonna be one of my keys? No, it is not. Okay, so my last key is behind wherever the last trap gauntlet is. Oh, this is a gold key. That's right. I need to pick this up anyway. I need to actually do this. Yeah, the main thing about evasion is making sure you hit the queen of the forest cap. That when you have when you're at all when you have all this evasion, you're getting uh, 75 additional move speed. Um, yeah. Well, it's it's a net it's a total of 50 gained though. Now that I think about it, because the queen of the forest gives you 75, but also takes away 25, so it's still kept out at 50. Oh, it gets kept out at 50. They're getting 50% additional. I forget. I forget that the Queen of Force has that as that uh, drawback. Uh, 
this is just the silver door, yeah. It's nothing else can spawn in here, it's just the silver door. Alright. We still got two dark trends and then a trap gauntlet to find. And we got the entire third section, so I think we have enough space. Uh, this is... Fonts? Yeah, Fonts. Get out of here, Zaro. Alright, we got two safe phases. That's pretty nice. Alright, here's Dark Trend number three. Ah, uh, no extra unique. Or n no extra d enchant. At least this will help me. F this will prevent me from dying. Oh, this is a terrible section layout, though. Um. Yeah, this is a terrible section layout because this is two side rooms and or two this is a split path with two side rooms this right here is last trap gauntlet awesome oh is this the dark train though Oh, that's, uh, that's very convenient. <laughs> oh, and I got my second enchant. Awesome. Okay, well, that, that made up for it. This this third section had the potential to be completely terrible. But it ended up being the best it could possibly be. Hooray. Did you get Death's Door? Did you get Death's Door in that 500th chest? So that sounds like... That sounds like... That sounds like you're... <laughs> what would happen? Oh, I know I didn't mean to take it right there. One off Perfect World Death's Door. Mm -hmm. I had a feeling. Um, <laughs> Take a break from labs for a little bit, but then enchant those. But enchant those. <laughs> is Molten Strike better or Tectonic Slam? Tectonic Slam is better for clearing. Molten Strike is a lot better for single target. Oh, there's the chisel. All right. Okay. Awesome. Uh, double enchant. You gonna do anything good? Bolden strike AOE. Uh, flame surge crit chance. Woo. The lab really doesn't like it when I try to enchant helmets. Hi, but thank you very much, man. Much appreciated. I'm glad I can do my part and help with lab notes. What are boot enchants look for? Um, exclamation point boots. That gives you the list of good boot enchants. The main ones are regen and le pen. Crit chance is also up there, but uh, a bit more niche, along with lightning damage and all that. Okay, okay, phone. Thank you for buzzing. Let me go ahead and get these lab notes made. <laughs> 